So in a previous video, uh, we had talked about the solar converter here, uh, but now we're gonna be going over uh, the battery pack. Hi, I'm Ben, welcome to my basement. So about half the bank is out of a uh, 2017 Smart for Two. Uh, it's an all electric car. Uh, and the other half is out of a Volvo. I believe it was an XC90. Uh, that was a hybrid. Out of the, uh, the Smart for Two is 17.55 kilowatt hours and the, uh, the Volvo battery is 12 kilowatt hours. So total storage is about uh, 29 kilowatt hours and usable at I'm about, I'm about 25 kilowatt hours. There's 12 total batteries connected in parallel. Um, and then each battery is a 16S. So each one of the batteries has its own BMS. Um, and what that does is it monitors the individual cell voltages. Um, and if there's anything that's out of uh, the voltage range, it will shut that pack down. So I have 40 amp BMSs, um, and then they're run with 10 gauge wire uh, to the 20 amp circuit breaker. Um, and so I specifically did that so there was no chance that I could overload one of the BMSs uh, or the wire. Um, you know, the, these DALI BMSs are great, but you don't, you don't want to push them too hard. Um, and so that's why I'm, I, I kind of doubled the size of the BMS and the total output, um, would be 240 amps. The, the Solark is, uh, rated for, um, 185 amps maximum charge or discharge, uh, continuously. So yeah, I, I have more power available in batteries than the Solark could ever use. So that's, that's only 15 amps per battery at this point. Yeah. And there's no active cooling of the batteries cause I just don't need it. They don't, they don't even get warm. Um, when I'm charging or discharging. My inverter, it only goes up to 63 volts. Um, and with a 16S NMC pack, uh, you could go up to 67.4, I think it is. Um, so I'm not able to use those top few volts, um, but but that's okay with me because it's I, I get most of the pack. Uh, so in the Solark, I've actually set it to go down to 50 volts. Um, that, that way, you know, I, I don't hit the bottom end of the battery capacity. So this is a Square D QO load center. I used this, uh, the, the breakers were cheaper. The, I love the look of the box. Um, it gives me a nice clean combiner. You know, the thing's rated for 225 amps and all of the QO breakers are rated for uh, DC voltage as well. Uh, the only ones that are not are the main breakers. Um, so that's why I don't have a main breaker in there. Um, and the, so the single pole breakers are rated for 48 volts DC. The two pole breakers are rated for 120 volts DC. I'm running actually positive to one pole, negative, negative to the other pole. By running two pole breakers, we could break an arc of up to 120 volts DC. Um, I'm running 63 max, uh, so that should do it without an issue. Because I'm running up to 63 volts, I chose to go with the two pole breakers um, because that 48 volt rating is an absolute voltage. That's not a, that's not a suggestion, that's not a nominal voltage, uh, 48 volts maximum. Um, and I did not want to go over that because uh, you don't want to exceed the rating of stuff. Yeah, so from the main combiner box, I'm then running 4 aught wire to the uh, Solark. It's 4 aught fine, fine stranded copper. Well, thanks for coming to check out my setup. Uh, if you want to see more on how I built it, uh, go to Ben's Solar and Battery on YouTube. And uh, got a bunch of detailed videos on how I put this together. Actually, I think my Leaf battery is coming today too.